Happy Wednesday, everybody, from Miss Morris's new house. Or you could say it in Thai, like this. Bon Mai Kum Nam Maurice. Today, we're going to sing our Nevada State song, Home Means Nevada. Our Nevada State song was written by Bertha Rafito in 1932, so our state song is almost 100 years old now. Mrs. Rafito was born in Iowa in 1885 and died in 1952 here in Nevada. Her first job was as a school teacher, way cool, in the Ozark Mountains. Back in those days, that was challenging. You know, probably had to travel by uh, horseback or walk, and it was those Ozark Mountains are pretty steep and get very snowy and muddy. So she was a brave woman. She not only was an accomplished musician and composer, but also a poet, a writer, and a fine public speaker. So when she moved to Nevada later in her life, she put these things to good use for her home state. I read a quote from her daughter who said that mom meant it when she said home means Nevada. She, Her mom had lived in a lot of places and when she moved to Nevada that became home kind of like with Miss Morris. Mrs. Rafito worked tirelessly to help people in Nevada and she accomplished all these things in a time when women weren't encouraged to be leaders and writers and politicians. Um, so when I moved to Nevada in 2003 and learned about the state song and learned about her, she became one of my heroes too. Our state song has been recorded many times in many different musical styles. I like to do it like a cowboy song. Some people like to play it like it's a marching band song. Some people like to play it rock. Like our Las Vegas rock band, The Killers. They perform a rock version of it every year, and they perform at many Nevada day ceremonies and uh, different political functions in the state. Um, you can find it on YouTube if you hunt around and on KidTube. Here we go with my version of Home Means Nevada. Please join me. It's a fun song to sing. So 
Have a great day, everybody. Do something kind for somebody today.